when did things start to change? When did you and your granddaughter start to butt heads? About three years ago. Three years? When she was in the 10th grade. Mm -hmm. um, she started dating. Yeah. She gonna tell me she's dating. I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, I'm dating. That's the day she start becoming grown. Mm. Thinking she can say what she wanna say to me, do what she wanna do, and totally disrespectful ways. So how is she being disrespectful to you? Zanaya, tell me what she's gonna do. Uh -huh. That's totally disrespectful. Mm -hmm. You don't tell me what you're gonna do. I took the initiative to raise four grandchildren out of respect of my daughter. You took the kids in because your daughter unfortunately she's passed? She's passed away. Yes. I've raised each one of these children from birth. Mm. Although their mother was there, I had them because she wanted to go run the street. Got it. So I sacrificed my whole life. Yeah. So what happened in October when the police was called? I went to pick her up from school, and we had this conversation. It was me and her brother in the car, and Zanaya said something to the fact about her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I said, Zanaya, you need to calm down. We, we wasn't even supposed to be on that conversation. She was going off, and I slept out of her. I slept out of her, beat her up. May get out of my car so and called the police did, on her how ass. How did it escalate to that part of the fighting? Her running her mouth. Yeah. She got a mouth that <sighs> you kill her. Uh huh. It, her mouth is ridiculous. Yeah. And I don't have to stand for that. Why did you tell Zanea um, you would shoot her in the foot and keep her in the house? Because that's, I, that's I'm, I can be real and I understand the disrespect, but that's violent language. She'll take you there. Okay. She would take you there. I'm, 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 I'm up here with Zaniah. Yeah. And I did say, I shoot her ass in the toe. Yeah. I will. I'm tired. I ain't gonna kill her. I love her. I ain't gonna hurt her. But she need to, she need to listen. Mm -hmm. She, these young folk, these day, I don't know what the hell wrong with them. Let me tell you something. This is, this must be a old black family thing because I swear to God. <laughs> My, I had a family, I'm not gonna say, I almost said who it was. You used to say to me, if you get out of line, I'm gonna shoot you in the foot so that every time you take a step, you remember not to get out of line. <laughs> I used to look at them when I'm 14, I'd be like, you gonna shoot me in the foot. <laughs> well, I, used to, and hear it again. I used to think that was only me, and to hear it again now? Yes, <laughs> it ain't went nowhere. It okay, it ain't went nowhere. nowhere. No, no, Wow. because I'm old school. Yeah. I'm old school, and, and, and that's the best way to be. So you talked to me about her mother who died in a car accident in 2012. I wanna know what was your relationship like with her? It, 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 it wasn't good. Yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't do nothing for her because she was running the street. I had to take care of her damn children. Is that why you're so protective of um, Zanaya? I'm protective of each and every last one of them. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you, her mother, I was trying to be protective over her, but she was being hard-headed and went out there and passed away because I told her not to do something, mm -hmm. not to go somewhere, even my husband. Yeah. So... You know, I, I gotta tell you, I know that there's been some time since still 2012, but I know you're still grieving because I heard the language. You kept referring to your daughter as her mother. Yeah. Which there's a there's a, a mental and emotional block that you have yeah. there. Have you ever spent time to think about that and to, no. to go with that? No, I haven't had time. I understand. I've I raised these children from three, four, five, six, all the way up to now. Listen, I, I haven't had your... time to take care of myself. And it. I'm tired now. Yeah. I'm taking initiative to take care of myself. Yeah. I do get it. Well, listen, I'm talking to Cherie, who is afraid of losing her granddaughter like she lost her own daughter. I think it's time that we hear from Zanaya. Everyone, please welcome young Zanaya to the show. <laughs> Zanaya, can I have a hug? Mm -hmm. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm good. Good, good, good. You smell lovely. <laughs> Thank you. So I gotta ask you a question, and I want you to be honest, because I can already tell you're a smart girl. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're disrespectful to your grandmother? I don't think I'm disrespectful to her. I mean, I asked her, like, what's her definition of disrespect or how I'm being disrespectful to her? Mm -hmm. But she can't tell me why. So I'm gonna ask you from your own, because again, I wanna go from you. What do you think the definition of disrespect is? You know, calling you out your name type, and um, just, like extreme ruthless <laughs> behavior. Calling out your name and extreme rudeness. I know what she's talking about because I calls her a bitch. 
Why should I have to listen to you? Because you have, I to, have to listen to too. me. I know you have I know you have feelings, but I'm the adult. And I'm not gonna tell you nothing wrong, honey. You you, you can't cannot... expect me to sit there, listen to you talk, and that's it. That's done. No, I'll give you your chance to talk. And when I talk, you over talk me and change it to how you feel. Okay. Do you feel All like right. that ever happens? No. Okay. No. Yeah. I give her a chance to talk. She don't never give me a damn chance to talk. That's why I slept out of her when we was in the damn car. Okay. Cause she kept running her mouth. In the car, I told you, I, you kept referring to me as my mom and my dad. I told you, stop doing that, because I'm not them. I wasn't here when they was around. I'm not them. No, no you're not. You can't refer to me as them. And I tell you all the, all the time, be better than your mama and daddy. Don't be like them, so that's a lie. So you, your, your grandmother is overprotective from her own words. She knows mm -hmm. that. How does that. How does that affect you? OK, so I'm 17. As we all know. Duh. But to, to her, she treat me like I'm 10. Okay. Like, I'm young. Like, she told me, put a tracker on me. I had a tracker on me all the time. And it's like, even with a tracker on, without a tracker on, she want me to tell her step by step what I'm doing. It's only what for I'm your doing. safety. No. Even no. when I'm you out with my friends. Wrong. You got it wrong. Even when you I'm out with my friends. I can tell her I'm going no. to the mall. She got it what wrong. What time you going to be back home? I come in your house. At a respectful time. I don't come in 12, 11. I don't come in none of that. I'll be there at 9 o'clock or 10. Is that true? She always comes at a respectful no. time? No. You told my producers that you said that you, you're not going to end up like your mother and grandmother. What do you mean by yes, that? Yes, because grandma, she will always tell me, I grew up like this. When I grew up, I had to do this and I had to do that. I'm not like you. I don't, I'm not, my, how I grew up is not how you grew up. So you tell me life is a circle. I'm going to think outside that circle. I'm going to think you keep holding me in. It's going to make me want to go out and do something I crazy. I understand I'm not, what she's saying. Again, I'm not that type of person. She'll, she'll probably be like, oh, you go out here and go wild with these boys. I am not that type of person. Yeah. I don't let no boy influence me. I influence myself. Yes. Okay. That's good. I, I want to know more about you. How are you, how are you in school? Um, how are you? Are you a good student? Yes, I have made principal list. I, I reason I asked that is because I asked my producers to ask you for re your report card. You are getting... A 3.1, that's great. Your grades yes. are phenomenal. Yes. I also heard you're taking aerospace science. Yes, business... I'm in ROTC. Yeah, you're in business technology, you're in multicultural literature, your GPA is a 3.1, and all your teachers recommended you as like one of the best students in the school. Yes. They, they, they tell me that. They tell me that. <laughs> yes. But as soon out. as she get home yes. with oh. me, here we go. Yeah. The damn mouth. Yeah. It don't be them out. I can't, appreciate all of that. I appreciate you can't all of take that. How I feel. You you put it in you view it something totally different in your head and that was disrespectful. I've asked you, how is it disrespectful? You can't even tell me. So until you could tell me, I can't fix nothing. Zanaya, you cannot talk back to me. That's the number one thing. You cannot talk back to me. Me explaining how I feel is talking back to you. No. When I walk away from Zanaya. There you go. I got a problem with that. Mm -hmm. I, uh, so be it, I got a problem with that. I that have, let, I will I have not let have her, that around me. Literally, she'll try to argue with me. Yes, I do walk away Don't because I know myself. So I walk away to calm myself down. And she will come follow me. And she will keep going to I say something back to her. And it's not going to stop until I say something back to her. You're right. Because if I ask you to go wash the dishes, I mean for you to go wash the dishes now. You Don't walk me. away from me and not say nothing to me. Mm -hmm. You can even say, uh, I say, uh, okay. Grandma, I ain't gonna do it right now. I do it I then. wash the dishes. She making it seem like I don't wash the mm -hmm. dishes. I wash the dishes. But she thinks, like, it, it feels like I'm the only child in the house that's doing something. Can you describe to me what it felt like when Cherie kicked you out? When your grandmother kicked you out? Um, I was real confused on, like, why you, like, why she kicked me out? Because, like I said, I didn't hit her. I didn't touch her. She hit me. You told me I had to go, so I had to go. Simple. What did that do for you? What did that do to you? Did no, that break you a little bit? No, the police told her she had to go. No, she... What, it... did, what did that do to you? Because you're, you're, a young, you're a young woman who's maturing and growing right now. And, like, you're trying to figure out the world. And I see it. I understand. You're trying to figure out what to do, how to be better. And I know you have your grandmother's guidance, but these moments still affect you and stay with you. So how did that affect you, knowing that, like, I have to get out now? I mean, it's like I'm leaving my brothers behind. It's like you taking me away from them 
pretty much just because I you're mad. I can't classify her feelings. I, I mean, I be trying to do stuff with Zania. Mm -hmm. I really do. I even bought us coloring books. Yeah. To color. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Zania wants me to be on her time. Okay. I'm not on her time. She she got to come on my time. Because I got a whole lot of stuff to deal with. And when I don't do what she want me to do, there you go. Sheree, what she do you shut want to me happen? down. What do you want to happen today? I, I don't know what Zanaya need to do. Uh, but what do you want to I'm happen done. today? I'm done. You're done? I'm done. Because I, I actually don't believe that because I know you're here today. I don't believe that. Okay. I, I, I don't. Because the thing is, is that I know, I know the love in your heart. And also, I got to say... I'm going to just give you this. The same way you haven't had time to focus on the grief of yeah. losing your, time, your child, um, there's things that are still unprocessed in her mind. Oh, she also, on that same day the police came, she even told me if she had the choice to keep my brothers and give me away, she would have did. So, well, so I know you, you know. Hell, I don't raise too many girls in my lifetime. I ain't want no more. I, know. I ain't want to deal with that see, no more. See. But see, but I see, didn't want to deal with I that. Get it, no I get it. But that language right there. I know. Yeah. I know. But can you, I know you know. But see, the thing is, is that even in our she, exhaustion, we have to remember that our main intention was to protect. And your words are not protecting her in this moment. Would you be able to, and I'm going to get to her, so don't think I'm just staying on you. I'm okay. going to get to her. Would you be able to at least apologize for this language that you're using to her and understand that a young girl, just like you, who lost mm. your daughter, she lost her mother, and hearing the one woman figure I have in my life, tell me i'm done i don't want no more girls these things and i understand the context right it could be hurting her and could cause more damage in the long run can you at least apologize I, for that I, I i will apologize and i have apologized to zania zania boyfriend mother yes now i got a damn problem with that okay okay because you being my granddaughter except this woman as your mama, grandmama, what the f ever. I had a problem with that. Got it. So if she threw with me, I'm through with her. Got it. I have apologized to her about that plenty of times. Yes, I got it. I don't have to deal with that. Here, thank you for sharing that. And I that. raised her. That, that makes more sense. This makes more sense. Thank you for sharing that because what's I going on. I raised her. There was the, the issues with your own daughter and her not being able to listen to you there's a rejection that you experience. Yeah, right. She rejects me all the time. And so it's being mimicked, but vice versa. All the time. You're feeling that same rejection. When she says she, it. I don't talk to his mama like that. She, she, she seemed like I'm just turning her away and going to her. I, I talk to her more one, than anything. One of, the big, one of the big lessons that you're going to learn as a young woman is the same way that I'm here to validate your feelings. Mm -hmm. Her feelings are valid too. But I think there's a big thing here that we have to remember. Two big things. First of all, for you. You said that apology. Would you be able to do it again for me right here? So that, of that way I course. Can, can you tell your of daughter? Of course. I love you. Brother? I love you and I really apologize. I apologize and love you. And we need to work on us. Yes. Just me and you. The second thing is, is that for you, this still is your grandmother. And so part of it is that there's things that as a young woman you'll never understand. And there's one, a third piece, I'm gonna get you, don't worry. But there's big things you have to understand. And with her, there is a level of respect that even though she's yes. become a maternal figure, she's still a grandmother. So there's that mm -hmm. extra level. And even though it's difficult for sometimes for you to manage that, I get it because you're showing like, I'm good at school, I'm here. Yeah. You have to find the strength in yourself in those moments to be able to find a new way to communicate. So I know you know to some degree when you say something to her and you say no or you question her, you know what you're doing. Yes, you do. Do you? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know what you're doing. <laughs> and I ain't and that I, smart. And I, and I, and I acknowledge <laughs> but it. But I can figure that. I, I, I acknowledge it. It's because you're mimicking her behavior. She, she said things, so you're going to show her. But there are levels that you have to be respectful. You have to be respectful. So can you commit to saying, I'm going to start. When she says, hey, I need you to do this, this is still your caretaker. She is still the one who is providing a home for you, clothes mm -hmm. for you, everything else. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to respect that. And you going around and stuff with your boyfriend and doing things like that, it hurts her. So you have to make sure that you're not being disrespectful. Is that something you can commit to? Yes. Y'all can take yes. those steps. Yeah. Of course. Trust. I'm willing to Better do communication everything. with the language and know that yes. I'm not going to reject you. You don't reject me. Can you do that? Yes. Yeah? Good, good. I give your grandma a hug. We're going to figure this out. It's all right. <laughs> Hold on. Where are you going? 
I'll tell you where you're going, right here to subscribe and right here to watch more, period.